No matter if you've been into plants for a very long time or are just barely getting started in the hobby, one of the best tools you can have is a moisture meter. Essentially, what a moisture meter is, is a tool that you use to stick into the soil of your plant and it will tell you how much moisture is in that soil. Hence the name moisture meter. It's relatively straightforward, but there is a correct way to use one. Now, these can come in handy if you're very afraid of overwatering your plants like I am, or if you have a really big pot that, for example, this one, there is no way that I'm sticking my finger to the bottom of this pot. So this is a case where a moisture meter comes in handy. There are so many different kinds of moisture meters on market. You can buy them online on Amazon, or you can go to your local Walmart, or I've even seen some at thrift stores. So you can find them from varying from varying prices and usually they're pretty low in price. There are different kinds of features on each moisture meter and I have two different kinds here and both of them have three features and they have a moisture meter, a light meter, and a pH meter. I just stick to using these for moisture and I don't really use the other settings but if you would like you can use them. Uh, the pH is for the acidity levels in your soil and the light is to measure the lighting that your plant is getting. I'm not really sure how accurate the light setting is but you can try it out. So some things to know about the moisture meter before we begin is that you should not put it in water and if you put it in water it's not going to read wet. That's not how you kind of use it. It measures the amount of moisture in soil and a substance so you can't just put it in water and then it's not going to read wet. It's probably going to stay dry. So just don't do that. It's not good for it. Um, keep it outside. Uh, another thing you might be tempted to do is just leave it in the soil of your plant because, you know, you can watch it, watch it slowly go down to dry, but that is also not the case. You should not leave your moisture meter in soil. It's not going to read the soil correctly. You might mess it up a little bit. So make sure you always take it out after each use. I know it sounds a lot easier to just leave it in your soil, let it sit there, but it's not going to measure the soil correctly how you might imagine it would. It's just gonna mess up your reading so anyways i have a couple of plants here that we are going to use these out on i have a thai constellation here that has been having some root problems and i have been very careful to only water this plant when it needs water and that is why i have been using a moisture meter every time before every watering so i'm just going to show you how to use this you can stick your soil meter in and this is reading at level in between level one and two which is dry and normally it's better to kind of go around the whole pot kind of stick it in a couple places if you cook it's kind of similar to when you're temping chicken or something you want to test the chicken in multiple spots to make sure that has reached temperature because it could reach temperature in a certain spot but then another spot it might not and that's kind of the same with your, with your soil there might be one little dry spot so you think oh the soil's dry but the rest of it could be wet still also if you haven't repotted your plant yet that you got in its nursery pot some soils soil mixes are a little bit weird in that they have pockets of wet soil, pockets of dry soil, and they just don't dry off evenly. And you want to make sure that all the soil has dried off evenly before you water again. Otherwise, that can cause problems in the plant. It might manifest itself in yellowing leaves that fall off. If you notice that a lot of your plant's leaves are yellowing and falling, and you've been measuring your soil with your fingers, or just by kind of weighing the pot, it might be because there are those weird pockets of wet soil and that's where the soil meter comes in. So just always make sure to test in multiple places. So this one looks good. This one is completely dry and it's ready for water. Now, depending on what kind of plant, you wanna water it when it has a different reading. For example, I have a 
rubber tree here and rubber trees do like to be on the drier side so I usually wouldn't water my water tree my rubber tree unless it was almost completely dry if I was testing out an African violet which likes to be on the more moist side I might not wait until the dial reaches all the way to the dry I could maybe water it around the five or six level so depending on the plant that you're watering you might not want to wait till it gets all the way to dry and maybe start watering when it gets around the lower levels of moist still in the green section depending on what your moisture meter looks like and kind of discern that a lot of these readers come with a list on the back that might give you a list of plant names and what level the moisture meter will read when you need to water again. I would take that with a grain of salt. Of course you can do that, but each plant is different and you might want to monitor when you're going to water them. A good rule of thumb is that it's better to let a plant dry out than to overwater it. So if you're not quite sure if it's dry enough yet, you can wait another day and then test it out again before you water. You might be fond of using the finger method where you stick your finger into the soil, but of course if you have a pot that's very big, you're not going to be able to stick your finger all the way down to the bottom and that is where a moisture meter can come into handy. So for a big pot like this, you do not want to just stick your soil reader in about two or three inches when the pot is about like 10 inches deep because that is going to give you a very incorrect reading. The top of the soil dries quick, more quickly than the bottom layer of soil. So if you're just reading the top, your reader is going to say that the soil is dry when the bottom half is actually still wet. And that is how you can keep the bottom roots of your plant wet for too long and they can get root rot so you always want to make sure that you go down as deep as possible when i stick the reader in this far it says that the moisture is at level two but as i stick it deeper it's starting to read in the five or six region so that's why you want to stick it in as deep as possible and just measure at different levels between your plant after using your moisture meter, you want to make sure that there is no dirt on the prongs, on the meter readers, so you can just wipe that down. You don't need to use a tissue or anything. Usually if you have wet soil, it will stick to the uh, reader more, so you could just wipe that off with your fingers and then store your reader. You want to make sure that you wipe it down every time after every use so that the soil doesn't become encrusted on it and that can prevent it from reading accurately in the future. So I hope that covers everything. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for some future plant videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!